This house might not look like much, but DD and Fred, I'm telling you guys, this is exactly what you want. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey guys, welcome to the 340th episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You guys are watching Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. And folks, this is the show on Holton Wise TV, the most interactive show we have. This is where we work together, mano a mano, right? What we do, folks, is we help investors buy properties from anywhere on the globe. It does not matter to me where you live. As a matter of fact, the clients I am working with today are DD and Fred. This is a husband-wife team out of California. Now, this little property, as I said at the top of the show, it doesn't look like much. You wouldn't necessarily think that it makes sense to go halfway around the freaking country for some little tiny house like this. But guys, that's exactly what investors are doing, and that's exactly what we do because properties like this have price-to-rent ratios like you can't find in more expensive markets. The things we're doing out here in these Midwestern cash flow markets are unlike what you guys see, especially my California folks. What we have, 322 18th Street, Illyria, Ohio, 44035. This thing was just put on the market five days ago, okay? $40,000, folks. I'm sure my folks out there in California are like, $40,000, what is it, just the driveway? No, guys, it's the whole freaking house. It ain't much, right? Don't think that when we're doing this stuff, we're, we're getting the Taj Mahal or anything like that, right? We're working on moderate to low-income stuff, but Dee Dee and Fred, that's exactly what you guys came to us for, right? You guys are looking to do 20 properties. I know we worked together in the past, and we sent off a bunch of offers. Uh, you know, a couple of those, you know, they're not going through, but hey, that's what this is, guys. That's why you guys did the 10-pack with us, because this is a numbers game. As investors, we got to do due diligence, research, and submit offers on many properties to get the deal because we got to get the properties for the right price at the right time. And what this is, right, just a little two-bed, one-bath home. Again, nothing special, but it looks like it's already uh, a rental, right? They got a lot of, like, the rental uh, features in there you would see, right? You see the just the one color throughout the home. Now, I don't necessarily like carpet in my rentals. It's not because the tenants won't like that carpet. As a matter of fact, this carpet seems fine to me. Uh, it's another hint that I had that this was a rental property because they opted to go with the super dark carpet. So if the carpet is still good, which it very much looks like it is, we're going to continue to roll with that. But after like maybe another one or two tenants, it's probably not going to be good anymore, at which case we're going to want to remove it and replace that with the vinyl allure flooring. Now, replacing that carpet with the vinyl allure flooring is going to cost you a little bit more money at that time, but then it's going to save you money over the ownership of your property because you're not worried about swapping out that floor uh, between every tenant or every two tenants, right? You're going to harden the unit. So right now, it seems like it's good to go. So let's just rock with it, baby. But in the future, know that that's something I'm going to want to do. Now, it looks fairly rent ready from the photos, okay? But a lot of times you got to understand, right? This put on the MLS by a Howard Hanna realtor. Their job is to sell the property, okay? So they're going to highlight, you know, the property in a way that makes it look good. So what I have done, and you're probably going to think I'm crazy looking at the pictures because you're like, what the hell, James? This is a rent ready property. I have put a $5,000 renovation bid on this. Now, I'm guesstimating right now, but there are a few clues, right? Again, when the agent is taking pictures of this home, they are taking pictures to make it look as good as possible. However, when we actually get up close and personal, right, we're going to have tenants looking at everything. They're going to be looking at the wall. Are there scuff marks? Like right here, right? You see this? You probably didn't even notice that because it's not the focal point of the picture, but, you know, that's all fucked up right there, right? So I am sure... There are going to be things like this throughout the home, right? So there might be rooms where they've got scuff marks on the walls, which up close and personal with your tenants or your Section 8 in, uh, inspectors, that's not going to fly, right? So 
I always want to, to give you guys the most accurate picture possible. So I think approximately $5,000 we should budget for when my team gets in there to, you know, just nip anything in, in the butt that, uh, you know, that could be a problem, right? Stuff like that. Also, do we have the appropriate amount of smoke detectors? Do we have the appropriate amount of carbon monoxide detectors? Of course, we have to change the locks, right? We don't know which motherfuckers out there got keys to this property. Things of that nature, right? So we'll factor in uh, $5,000 for that. So... With all that said, they listed this 40 Gs. I think that price is perfect. I think it's fine. I think they might have competition here. So I want to put in a strong offer, guys. I say we go in 40 Gs, and then we're going to go ahead and budget the 5 Gs I talked about. So the investment would be an all-in investment of 45000 What's that going to get us? That's going to get us a $900 a month Section 8 tenant. That means we're going to be bringing in 10800 a year. Of that 10800 a year, I anticipate you guys spending approximately forty-seven sixty-four to run the thing, right? That's almost $5,000 a year to run the thing. And in addition to that, what I'm considering your actual NOI, right, your NOI of 6036 in addition, we are saving a little bit over 1500 for things like capital expenditures, vacancy and non-payment, repairs and maintenance, right? We got a roof, we got a furnace, we got a hot water tank, roofs, 5Gs, right? Small little house, and honestly, you know, probably like 4Gs. This house is pretty tiny, right? $4,000 roof, that roof, not a new roof. In the next several years, know that that cost is coming. Furnace, hot water tank, agent didn't give us any info. I've been doing this game a long time, y'all. I sold over $200 million worth of real estate. I'll tell you right now. If the agent or the seller does not market the furnace and the hot water tank as new, that son bitch is old, all right? Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. So we probably got a furnace towards the end of its life expectancy. We probably got a hot water tank towards the end of its life expectancy. Do we have to replace them today? No. Do we probably have to replace them tomorrow? Probably not, right? But in the coming years, right, maybe the next few years, you got to know you got a $3,000 furnace bill coming. You got a $1,000 hot water tank bill. Keep that in mind. That's why we bake it all into the cake, and I put that in the chart for you guys. But with all that said, we have a $45,000 investment, guys. You could go ahead and put $10,000 down. We'll get a lender to loan you the other $30,000. And then to calculate your cash on cash return, guys, you, of course, take your NOI and you divide that by your down payment. But don't forget, I've budgeted $5,000 for you guys. So let's take that net cash flow of 4524, divide that by $15,000, not $10,000. And that nets us out an estimated performance of 30.2% return on our money, right? That's why investors like you are investing across the country, right? You can't do stuff like this for this teeny amount of money out there in California or in New York, but you can do it in markets like Cleveland. So Fred and Dee, Dee reply to the private uh, email that we sent you this video in. Let me and my team know if you want us to write the offer. Everybody else, if you want to work with me in the way that Fred and Dee, Dee have been doing, just send us an email, sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll give you a call, talk to you about your wants, your needs, your goals, and let you know how the whole process works. Or if you like, you can go ahead and click the show notes below and get yourself more info or order a package today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.